Hey guys, it's time to take a look at the iOS 10 beta 1 on the iPhone 5s. So uh, here you can see all design. I did a video on the iPhone 6s, uh, iPhone 6 SE, so you can check that out on my channel. First of all, I want to check out the Race to Wake feature like always. Let's see if it's working fine on this iPhone or not. Let's see here. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Okay, it seems like it's not working that much, or like it's not working at all, I mean, yeah, I mean to say it's not working at all, probably might be turned off in the settings, but okay, this is the iOS 10, so you can swipe to the right to see all your lock screen widgets, and, and if you have third party applications, you can also see their widgets uh, on the lock screen, pretty nice, like I have Vase and the battery app. Pretty, pretty cool. You can also edit and remove certain widgets if you don't like them there. Swiping to the left will open up camera. You can see the iPhone 5S, it takes some time to open camera compared to, of course, the newer iPhones. Uh, you know, so let's just uh, unlock it right away. You can see fingerprint sensor. Okay, now it's working. So uh, let's just check out the settings and take a look at that. Um, Settings we have in general. Yeah, let's see here. Display and brightness. You can see that. Okay. So I think there is no raise to wake feature for the iPhone 5S. Bad thing, Apple, bad thing. Let's just check it, confirm it. Here I have my iPhone 6S. If I go into display and brightness, here you can see raise to wake features there. So it seems like there is no raise to wake feature for the older iPhones. Good God, Apple, why? iPhone 5S users, I'm really sorry. Um, let's see, let's check the general section, okay, pretty much the same. Um, we can take a look here, Siri, okay, it get, gets its dedicated option outside the general tab, also had it as its new logo thing, you know, looks cool. And uh, of course, iOS 10 Home app is available here where you can use and manage your connected accessories. Um, what else? We also have some updates to the to the messaging keyboard. Of course, I'm not going to go through all over the stuff because I've covered that in the iOS 10 uh, review, you know, with the iPhone 6S and the SE. I've covered most of the stuff. But we're going to talk about the performance on the iPhone 5S. Working fine. Uh, it's working fine. The thing here is that you do get pretty much the main stuff uh, from the iOS 10. But the bad thing is that the raise to wake feature is not there. You know, this that feature is actually in the top 10 major features for the iOS 10. Uh, that's bad. Uh, but uh, the notification panel, all that stuff is changed. Uh, we can uh, also take a quick look here at the Photos app. And yes, thank God it's also changed. We can take a look here into the memories get started now it's gonna scan and uh, make like a collage or not collage actually it's gonna it's gonna gather all the photos of from a certain event like a road trip or something like that so since it's the older iPhone it's gonna take some time so I'm just gonna go back and uh, talk about the multitasking area looks pretty much the same but performance wise it's smooth uh, I think if you have the iPhone 5s and if you want to try it out uh, I think go for it because uh, it's looking fine, but obviously you will see some few bugs. Of course, it's uh, not official, so camera also looks pretty much the same, but good thing that it works fine on the older phones. And this is how the keyboard looks like, of course. Uh, we get uh, the new emoji thing, you know, let's say if I type in something uh, like uh, sad. You can see now I have the sad emoji here, which I can use. And also it's three times bigger. That is nice. People love it. And this is the full emojis we have. So lots of lots of emojis to use. Uh, this is how the power off menu looks like. So pretty much the same as before. Uh, we can just do a quick little Geekbench 3 benchmark test. So let's see if I have it installed. Pretty sweet. Let's uh, run the processor benchmark, of course. Uh, let me just cancel it, show you guys here, iOS 10.0, clock speed, memory, so it's the old iPhone, um, iPhone 5S is probably the, the nice oldest iPhone that can run it uh, smoothly, you know. iPhone 5, I'm pretty sure it's going to have some slow 
uh, slow performance, you know. And, uh, and the bad thing that I've seen here is that we don't have the race to wake feature. Uh, it's kind of sad, okay. Um, let's see here. It's taking some time, so I'm probably going to skip it. Okay, guys, we are done, and we got a score of 942 single core and 1,648 multi-core. I think we got, like, a little bit of improvement with the multi-core score. Uh, please let me know what scores you have on the iOS 9.3.2 if you have iPhone 5S, so comment below. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.